Okay, let me demonstrate how safe copy in works. Here's the session that I just made, a little simple session. Uh, let's explore the folders within this, this session. So here's save copy in. I'm going to click it, and you'll see that there, just for this one little session, there's an audio files folder, a fade files, region groups, session file, backups, video files. There's the wave cache, and then here, of course, is the save copy in Pro Tools file, session file. And uh, most of these things don't have, there's nothing in it, but still they're there. I assume that once you're done with your uh, song, there will be things in it. So we want to make sure we save all of those things. And let's go back into Pro Tools. If we go to the File menu, you'll see uh, there's Save, Save As, and Save Copy In. We're going to click Save Copy In and session format we will do the latest session unless you're trying to revert to an older um, unless you need to open this in an older session version of Pro Tools audio type I like to do waves I'll keep the bit depth at 24 and this is the most important box you want to check all audio files to make sure that it copies all of your audio files and then of course if you have something in um, the session plugin folder don't you don't need to copy this root plugin settings folder and if you have movie files and uh, preserve folder hierarchy that's completely up to you so we'll click OK and save copy and I'm gonna save it to the desktop click save all right now let's take a look at our new copy of save copy and here it is I'm gonna open it up and wait a second why do I only see an audio files folder that's because Pro Tools is smart and it doesn't bother to copy over any of the empty folders it just copies over what you need even though we told it to copy the plugin settings folder there was nothing in that folder um, and so it didn't copy it it's smart what can I say that is save, copy, and...